Are you looking for new ideas to do for Halloween that require you to just use things that are around your house? Well, today I have a little easy activity for you to try. Keep on watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Amy, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play It Be, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today, I wanna do a quick little activity with you that can be really fun and different to try with little kids. So let's get into it. Well, I hope you like spiders because this is going to be an activity that continues in our Halloween series. All you're going to need is a paper, marker, some cardboard or cork board, and some rubber bands and push pins. Okay, so you might have some of these materials in your office. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply draw a spider web. That's our first step. So we're going to create like an asterisk. You're going to zip down, zoom across, slide down, slide down to make your asterisk. And then you are going to go around and connect those lines horizontally in a circular form so that you can create a spider web. So that's a little great activity for you to work on improving some visual motor skills. These are really important for drawing skills as a prerequisite before you do handwriting skills. Once we have that web completed, we're going to push our pins into the intersecting point of the web. The last step you're going to do is use rubber bands to connect some of those push pins. And it's going to create like a web effect. Why are we doing this? Well, this is basically a nice way to work on some coordination skills, bilateral coordination using two hands at the same time. It's just a fun and interesting and unique way to play with these objects something that kids aren't typically used to doing, so it's a novel idea for them and it creates a cool visual effect. This activity is much better if you do it on cork board, but it can be used with cardboard. I would just suggest that you place several layers down of cardboard so that you're not pushing it into some empty space. You also wanna make sure that you push this on a surface not on your lap or something like that. Again, this is a nice fun way for you to work on those fine motor skills around a Halloween theme. I hope you gave it a try. It can be really fun and interesting to see what kind of configurations you come up with. Did you find this video helpful? I hope that you did. If you did, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below, like this video, all that good stuff. You can also head over to playap.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, where you can receive discounts and updates and all kinds of things related to Play It Beat just once a month. And you can also learn about the PALS handwriting program. So there's plenty for you to learn and many free resources there. Until the next video, I hope you have a playful day. Yeah.